Hi, version 9 is out, so I have the trial version here because it's not available in Australia yet, but I can at least show you um, something I've found by playing with the software. So sometimes we want to do nice big lettering for appliques or even a decorative lettering. Um, possibly doesn't have to be this big, but it depends what your pattern feel is. I've made these letters seven centimeters high. That's um, um, seventy millimeters, um, and this one I've turned into an applique, and this one I've um, added a decorative fill stitch and a border around it. Um, and this is so easy to do with the new features in um, version nine. So I thought I'd just run those by you. We'll start with the applique lettering. Now for applique lettering you would need a letter that, well there's a new tool called, uh, in. so applique has been taken out and put in its own toolbox in version 9, so it used to be in the digitized toolbox in version 8 and if I open that up um, we've got now a new tool called Digitize Applique with Holes. So we always had the Digitize Applique where we could take a shape and turn it into an applique, but now we can take a shape with holes. Um, so um, I thought this would be good for lettering. Now f to get a letter that is a solid shape, um, basically what we had to do before was use our art canvas to um, create a letter and turn it into a bitmap and even then if we use the convert tool we got some um, unusual fills but we could remove the stitch angles and get it a solid shape with a single stitch angle. So um, unless you have an image of a letter, uh, a bitmap or a vector drawing of a letter that is a solid shape, um, you can't um, quickly use this digitize applique with holes. But we can easily um, use another new tool in the software called the Weld tool, which is in the Edit toolbox, um, to weld objects together into one shape. And so this whole process using both those tools is really easy. So I'm going to open a new design and I'm going to start with the lettering tool to get my letter. So I don't have to go over to Art Canvas now, um, even though it seems to be a little bit quicker in version 9 to switch between the two, but I can do this all in the Embroidery Canvas, which is also another bonus. So lettering has also come out of the Digitized Toolbox, and it has its own toolbox along with monogramming. So we'll open up the Lettering Toolbox, and there we can choose um, lettering, monogramming, or the new feature as well, which is the keyboard design collection. So these big letters, you could in fact map them to your keyboard if you wanted to make more than one letter, and then you could just um, use that collection to type it in from your keyboard instead of loading the letters individually. So that's another great new feature, but I won't go into that in this video. So we're going to choose our lettering, and I'm going to right-click so that I open the dialog um, box um, with all the properties. And for the um, applique letter, I used the London font. Now in the trial version, you don't get all the fonts. So you get all your true type fonts will show up, but your Benina fonts, there's a limited number in the trial version. So I didn't have a lot to choose from. So I just went with the London font um, for this one. So um, I will stick with that as the default. So I'll just click off so that that stays the default. I didn't worry about sizing it here, I'll size it in the embroidery canvas, but you could actually put your 70 millimeters height in there if you wanted to, and it, well, let's do it this time, um, so that it comes out at the right size. And um, I'm just going to go OK, which will take me back to the, um, oh, I better type a letter in first, <laughs> capital A, and then I'll just go OK, and that'll take me back to the embroidery canvas. I can click and it will generate the stitches. Now, if I click on my show individual objects, or it is actually, um, lettering is all tied together, um, but it's not grouped. So if you right click, you haven't got the option to ungroup. So in order to 
um, get this separated out so we can do something with it we need to break it apart so I'm just going to left click again and select it again and the break apart is in the edit toolbox where it always was so we'll just break that apart so now I've got lots of little individual objects but I want one complete object so this is where I'm going to use the new world tool so I need to select all I can go control a on my keyboard and that will select it no, it's not at the moment for some reason so I'll get my select tool and I will just draw a bounding box around all the objects that's the quickest way you could select them in the color film as well so now that I've got them all selected my world tool becomes available so I can left click on that and it's welded it and the other good thing and this seems to happen with um, the Benina fonts is that the stitch direction is all in one direction so I did weld a letter that I brought in from um, art canvas when I was testing this and I got funny stitch angles and so I had to then remove the stitch angles which was one extra step but with the banana fonts it seems to be just adding all the same stitch angle so that's really good too now I've got one single object um, so I can now go to my applique toolbox and while this is selected I can digitize an applique with holes and all I do is left click and voila there I have an applique and I can show the applique fabric except I haven't selected one so you would have to set that up before you started in your options um, so if you go to the object properties and go to the applique tab you can set up your fabric um, you can also decide whether you want a cutting line as well as a placement line um, and all the other cover stitch options and tack down options are there available to you as well uh, so that's been a little bit redesigned um, so you, there are a few other options that weren't there before and you can check the manual to find out what they're all about um, I won't go into them today so I'm just going to close that so that was such a quick and easy way to create an applique if I go to the color film and the default is a placement line a tack down line and then the cover stitch and so that was I just think that was so easy I didn't have to click around any shapes to manually digitize at all all right now what about the other letter that I did with the fill stitch and the outline so let's have a look at that um, so I will go back to my lettering and monogramming and I used a different font for that so let's go to right click on the lettering and I've just got to remember what font I did use and I think I used um, a true type font so for the second letter I used a true type font so it was called Cooper black so um, here it is your most recently used fonts will show now in the lettering down the bottom so I'm going to select that one and again oh, well, I've still got my height 70 millimeters I'll type in my capital letter A and go OK and let's put it over here so uh, I think I'll just change the color while it's selected so that we get something different <laughs> and as you can see with this one it is a lettering object if I'm in in, um, in color blocks if I go to individual objects I still only get this individual object but it's got all sorts of different angles um, and I really need a single angle for this to work nicely so um, I will I can't oh, let's try removing angles I can't remove the stitch angles because of the way this has been generated so I need to break it apart and now I've got two pieces and then I can select those two pieces and I can weld them together and again I've got a single direction angle um, and a single object so now I can change that fill now there are some new um, fills in the software so if we come along here to our pattern fill and right click on that we can 
select the pattern now it's defaulted to the default pattern but as I said there are some new so if we go to select and I call the drop down menu here we've got a hobby and sports section we've got a nature 2 section um, we've got seasons I think seasons might be new um, and if I scroll up banner might be new it's hard to remember sometimes there's two children's ones so I think the children too must be new so quite a lot of new fill stitches which is really lovely um, I'm going to go to the nature 2 section and I'm going to choose this one here, one, two, double, one. Let me just show you what it looks like more clearly. Um, so if I select that one and go OK, and we'll go OK again. I think that's a really pretty little fill stitch. And then it was just a matter of outlining um, fill stitches, pattern fills travel on edges, so you get partial um, outlines and then gaps which doesn't look very nice on its own it really does need a border um, so I just put a little border on that so let's go to our outlines and offsets and I'm going to choose this middle option here I'm going to choose object outlines and I'm going to just leave it a single ah uh, sorry I can actually can I do a pattern run yes I can do a pattern run here um, but it doesn't allow me to choose the pattern, so it'll use the default pattern. Um, but I'll just go OK. And now I've got the default pattern. It has outlined the center as well. I'm going to select that and go to the object properties. And in the pattern run, I am going to choose in the quilting section sorry that's the wrong select I need to click on go to the quilting section and I'm going to choose one one uh, sorry a310 so let's just go down these are in numerical order I thought yes so A306 A310 here it is I'm going to go OK there and I did change I'll just um, apply that for the moment so that's quite pretty on its own but I wanted it to look a bit more um, defined if I zoom in let's just zoom in here so I think because you can still see here where there's a partial outline and you can't see any outline on this side so I wanted this to be a bit denser so I changed the spacing to 1.16 which is basically half so it overlaps so let's type that in and I thought that looked much nicer and disguises those outlines better so there's a couple of things we can do really quickly with the new some of the new tools in version 9 i hope you had fun watching this please subscribe and like the video and comment below if you feel so inclined